So I watched my first movie of the new year. Um, my first movie in the year of watching nothing but movies directed by women. And I decided to start with Mira Nair's, um, is that how you say her name? Oh, God. Um, Nair? Okay. Uh, Mississippi Masala, because I love Denzel Washington. So I got to stare at him. And watch a movie written and directed by a woman. is fantastic. Um, the writer is actually Suni Tara Poravala, even harder to say, who um, has worked a lot with Mira Nair. Um, I actually think the only other Mira Nairs I've seen are Monsoon Wedding, which is, you know, obviously so beautiful, and Vanity Fair, which I really hated. Although sometimes I feel like I should rewatch Vanity Fair, but I hated it so much. This one, however, I loved. I loved every minute of it. I thought it was a really interesting story that um, I had not heard of um, during the reign of, um, um, oh my god, I'm terrible at reading. Oh, Idi Amin in uh, Uganda, apparently in 1972, they expelled all of the Asians that were living there. Um, so that's how the, where the story starts, and then it takes up 18 years later when they're in um, living in Mississippi, the family that um, has lived their whole life in Uganda up to that point. Um, and then there's sort of parallels between um, their story with American South racism and then a little bit of just racism within both communities and it's sort of an interesting um look at all of that but then you have a beautiful like romance mixed in because obviously if Denzel Washington is your star you better have him be the love interest um and then Sarita Chowdhury is the um grown-up daughter who falls in love with Denzel Washington they have really good chemistry um I was looking at Denzel Washington's filmography and I realized that like uh, I've seen most of his movies past this but not quite not a lot from before this like I haven't seen Malcolm X because I'm the worst and I've seen Glory but I haven't seen Cry the Beloved Country and um, he was on St. Elsewhere for like six years what but then I have seen like all the rest of his movies from the 90s probably like in the 90s for the most part I love him that's a long way of saying I love him um also I was reading apparently like so they originally the dad was going to be um um Ben Kingsley and then he backed out and so the backers backed out and then she managed to get new backers because Denzel Washington signed on to play the the younger the love interest guy but then those backers were like you know what would be better if you cast white people in this story? And I'm like, How, you can't tell a story about Indians from Africa and African Americans living in Mississippi and have white people in the leads. Like, are you kidding me? What the hell? You have to change the entire story to do that. It's ridiculous. White people. Um, white people are the worst. We're the worst. Uh, oh, Mira Nair has a really great cameo in this also. So, oh, and the mother, the um, Sarita Chowdhury's mother, Sharmila Tagore. Ta Ta I can't, I'm terrible with last names today, always. She is the wife of Apu in the last Apu movie. I love the Apu trilogy. That needs to come out on DVD. Um, so this was a great first movie. I really loved it. Um... Looking forward to watching a ton more for the rest of the year. And hopefully um, Los Angeles warms up because this coldness is not okay. I moved to L.A. to escape the cold. Yeah. I hope you guys have a good beginning to your New Year's.